Hey, hi Mohit. Hi. You are looking angry. Yes, I am angry. It's about my younger brother. He always cheats in a game, no matter what game it is. It happens, Mohit. He is just your younger brother. Don't you get angry when someone does that to you? Yes, I get. Isn't it natural? Yes, it is. But then you have to try to control your emotions. Oh, I will try. Hey, Jay. Thank you. I am feeling much better now. Mohit, no need to say thank you. We are friends. Well, come on. Let's play outside. Yes, let's go. Students, the short animated film that you saw just now was about a angry friend. Well, there are lot of emotions like anger that we experience in our daily life. Like there is a happiness, sadness, frustration. these emotions are controlled by our nervous system so our today's topic of discussion is our nervous system this is chapter number 10 from your textbook and specifically today in this session we are going to study about our brain and spinal cord so let us start animals become accustomed to their environments and positions in response to the environmental changes for their protection or to their advantage i repeat animals become accustomed to their movements and position in response to the environmental changes for their protection or their advantage in other words there are continual changes in the environment right and human beings and other animals also other plants try to adjust with that so there is certain changes which we call as stimulus and our reaction to that stimulus is called as response so when anything reacts to the changes in its surrounding it is called as stimulus while the reaction to the stimulus is called as response most common stimuli are light sound air heat smell taste gravity and water okay these are the changes that happens okay light intensity changes sound intensity changes then there is continuous flow in air so that also changes and during this change we react to that changes and that reaction to the stimulus is called as response this is a diagram of our nervous system as you can see it starts from a brain then there is a spinal cord and attached to the spinal cord are various nerves the brain the brain is one of the important largest and a central organ of human nervous system it is like a captain of a team so everything or most of the decisions are taken by the captain in a team whenever it is playing similarly in our body brain is a captain of all the organs it controls all the organs of the body it is the control unit of the nervous system which helps us in discovering new things remembering and understanding making decisions and lot more an adult human brain weighs around 1.4 kg and it contains millions of tiny cells they are called neurons and glia so there are very small not visible through our eyes the tiny cells these cells are called neurons and glia there are two types of neurons uh, there are two types of cells in fact neurons and glia and the brain out of which this uh, neurons and glia they comprise the human brain right and our brain weighs around 1.4 kg it is enclosed within the skull which provides frontal lateral and dorsal protection theek hai matlab aage ki taraf upar ki taraf aur piche ki taraf 
जो प्रोटेक्शन मिलता है वो स्कल के वजह से मिलता है ब्रेन का वेट कितना होता है 1.4 पॉइंट के जी और ब्रेन किससे बना होता है छोटे से सेल्स होते हैं जिसे हम न्यूरॉन्स या ग्लिया कहते हैं ओके स्टूडेंट्स सो दैट वॉज अबाउट ब्रेन नाउ मोर अबाउट ब्रेन ह्यूमन ब्रेन इज कम्पोज ऑफ थ्री मेजर पार्ट्स फोर ब्रेन दैट इज द इंटीरियर पार्ट ऑफ द ब्रेन विच कंसिस्ट ऑफ सेरिब्रम हाइपोथेलेमस एंड थेलेमस देन देर इज अ मिड ब्रेन द स्मॉलर एंड द सेंट्रल पार्ट ऑफ द ब्रेन स्टेम कंसिस्ट ऑफ टेक्टम एंड टेगमेंटम एंड देन देर इज अंड ब्रेन द सेंट्रल रीजन ऑफ द ब्रेन कंपोज ऑफ सेरिबुलम मेड्यूला एंड पॉन्स ओके तो ब्रेन के थ्री पार्ट्स हैं फोर ब्रेन जो आगे की तरफ होता है देन देर इज अ मिड ब्रेन जो बीच में होता है और हाइंड ब्रेन जो पीछे की तरफ होता है ठीक है इन अलग अलग पार्ट्स का अलग अलग फंक्शंस होते हैं द ब्रेन एंड द पार्ट्स दैट वी हैव फॉर अवर ब्रेन द इच पार्ट हैज डिफरेंट फंक्शंस दिस इज अ डायग्राम ऑफ द ब्रेन सो हियर देर इज अ सेरिब्रम देन दिस इज सेरिब्रम एंड दिस इज मेडुला ऑबलेंगेटा सो दिस आर द थ्री मेजर पार्ट ऑफ द ब्रेन Now this diagram is something related to the functions of the brain. Okay, this diagram tells you about different functions of the brain. Like this one is a visual association area where whatever we see, it is being analyzed in the brain, right? So that is done in this area. Then this one is a auditory cortex or auditory here just. Uh, around it there is a auditory association area it means whatever we hear that is analyzed in that part so in short our brain has various parts and that each part has certain specific function then comes the spinal cord the spinal cord is a cylindrical bundle of nerve fibers and associated tissues enclosed within the spine and connects all the parts of the body to the brain so this is a spinal cord attached to it there are various nerves and it connects to the brain it begins in continuation with medulla and extend downwards so it extends it goes all the way from medulla and it extends until our hips okay so that long the spinal cord is it is enclosed in a bony cage called as vertebral column this we have already seen in the earlier lesson which was our skeletal system okay it is surrounded by membranes called meninges the spinal cord is concerned with a uh, spinal reflex actions and the conduction of nerve impulses to and from the brain so what is the function of spinal cord whatever reflex actions that we do what is reflex action something that we do without thinking twice okay without thinking once for example if you are playing cricket and all of a sudden a ball comes towards you what do you do you try to grab it right do you need to think about it that i want to grab let's grab do you think like that no or for example Uh, there is a hot water you don't know and you try to put your hands in the hot water what will be your immediate reaction you will immediately remove your hands now here also you don't need to think that uh, it is hot let us remove the hands do we do that no we don't we don't think we immediately do the action this immediate actions are controlled by spinal cord well that was all for today i hope you enjoyed this new topic okay we have not finished it we will be continuing with the lesson but in the next session so the homework for you is you have to name the different parts of the human nervous system then draw the diagram of brain third explain the parts of the brain state the function of each part cerebrum cerebellum right these were the parts of the brain and you have to uh, uh name the functions of each part you have to write the functions of each part okay then write a short note on spinal cord with diagram you have to write 
a short note on spinal cord with the diagram so this is a homework for you okay remember students that if you have any doubt feel free to ask me though we have discussed most of the topic and the questions also okay but still if you get any doubt you can surely ask me you can put your comments in comment box well that was all for today thanks for attending this session see you during next session until then take care bye bye